welcome back to Paki News Now. I'm JB and today I'm resting from uh, the tiring weekend and the past two days of to and fro, City Hall, BIR, NBI, another BIR office. Ah, it's just it's just so tiring. And then uh, results from my medical from when did I have my medical? Last week. Yeah, came out. So uh, I I sort of knew it was going to come out that way. Two things. Then some pre results. Pre results. So one was about yung uh, vision ko. <laughs> so they had this digital board na where you will read yung yung numbers and ano and um, uh, or letters. And then it was sort of glitchy. Um, kasi after me, they had to adjust it for someone else because nga there was some glitch na hindi masyadong malinaw or they had to adjust the sizes so and then it was, it was very early in the morning hindi pa totally gising yung eyes ko and maybe also because of yung second thing um uh, i had so um about the the yung eyesight sabi ko na lang uh na i was na I, I wear reading glasses so medyo hindi na finalo up yung uh, results na yon pero the other one i need to monitor for at least 2 weeks yung blood pressure ko because um if you saw some of my facebook posts i i was um, measured 160 over 100 which was particularly high um and during that time, what time was it? Maybe it was 8.15 in the morning. Um, I know, I didn't really feel anything. And the previous day, I think it was a Thursday, I was lifting pa heavy stuff, um, loading it from the role play second floor space up to third floor, Across the uh, corridor, back down to the ground floor, to ano, uh, to put it where it was going to be picked up by uh, the loading people, the transport people. Anyway, I have to uh, monitor my BP for two weeks. That's why I got um, electronic blood pressure monitor, and it ar it just arrived um, after lunch. And oh, around lunch, and um, when I got home from lunch, um, I took a nap to rest, just so that I know, um, walang anomalia. <laughs> so we're going to be doing this for the first time. So there is the monitor; it's plugged to the USB for power, and um, I read the instructions. So we're going to be doing three readings to see if it's going to be accurate. Um, it's supposed, supposed to be to wait um, or give a minute between between the readings, no? But we're not going to wait. <laughs> um, or I'm going to be uh, cutting the video so that we'll only see the when I I think I don't have to roll up my sleeve naman kasi lalong sisikip so I put the monitor up my sleeve so dapat pag nakababa tapat ng heart so from the el crook ng elbow para mga an inch yung ano yung laylayan nung no, I know. No, um, what, what, what do you call this? Uh, what do you call it? I don't know. Tapos naka align yung ano, yung itong thing with the wire. 
um, direct, straight, to middle, to middle, yan. So, I leave it yan, tapos, I close it, tapos, make sure hindi siya masyado masikip, hindi rin siya, rin siya masyado maluwag, and then I just relax. So, dun sa picture sa, ano, the, the elbow can be bent, you can make it straight, ganun. So, ayan, I, I don't feel pressured right now. Pero, uh, we can't talk while, while we're doing this. So, I'm just going to press the middle button and one touch operation siya, no? So, it will start measuring. It has voice, so it will tell you the results then. Whether it's um, good, high, or very high, or critical. Let's go, let's do it. Please remain seated and refrain from talking during measurement and keep cuff at the heart level. Your blood pressure is systolic, 166 millimeter of mercury, diastolic, 104 millimeter of mercury. Your pulse was 77. Your blood pressure is abnormal. And the color is red. Parang, no! <laughs> oh my god! And oh my God, what's happening? There's something wrong. And let's wait a let's wait a minute. <laughs> so it's three. It's um three thirty-seven in the afternoon, middle of the afternoon. Supposedly, um, that's the parang medyo high mid afternoon ang ang blood pressure. No? So parang. Um, siyempre, pag tulog ka, it's, um, it's low. And then, um, while you're waking up, it starts to, ano, it starts to go up. Tapos, mga middle of the afternoon, yung peak. Tapos, pag patulog ka na, ano, magsisimula na rin siyang mag, uh, bumaba. So, And I just came from a no from a nap. What? So I'm I'm uh, I I might be smiling or laughing, but I'm I'm taking this very seriously because um uh so silent killer nga daw si ano si hypertension um. Hindi ano ah, silent killer na parang utota or uh, a fart. Pero anyone, any age, di ba? If, if, if you don't lead a... Or ano na lang, if you have a lifestyle that will, ano, will take you there. Uh, oh. Into hypertension zone. Um, you can have a, a heart attack or a stroke. Um, and a couple of years ago, and probably I just don't read about it in the news, pero, I know, people die from this. Um, yun nga. And, um, I live, live, I live a healthy, active lifestyle naman. Although I don't exercise na because ever since no December, I started moving stuff moving stuff uh, from the store, I get my, I know, my, my needed exercise. I get my yung 10,000 steps, <laughs> and uh, lifting yung uh, stuff 
up and down the stairs. Yun lang, yun, yung food lang because I'm a non-vegetarian. Tapos I have, I eat craft cheddar cheese with almost all of my meals. You know. Ano naman, I'm, I drink a lot of liquids, water. So, ayun, it might be my age. It might be, ah, uh, yung stress level. Yung stress level ko for the past month is like through the roof because of yung uh, what happened with uh, with where I was with, with, with where I had uh, role play game lounge and then itong transferring location it's a uh, My mom said to practice um, parang deep breathing and I also read that online. Um, so we'll do that again. Uh, we'll do a second a second reading from the book of from the book of J. Let's hope. Please remain seated and refrain from talking during measurement and keep cuff at the heart level. Your blood pressure is systolic, 154 millimeter of mercury, diastolic, 95 millimeter of mercury. Your pulse was 71. Your blood pressure is abnormal. It turned orange. It's not red anymore. It's 154 over 95. We'll wait another minute to take another a third measurement. Um, yun kasi sa clinic where I had it, I only had one. I asked to have another one, pero the doctor, in no specific terms, parang declined naman, no? Uh, siguro, ano, may, bi- may, ano ba? So, may bayad per, per reading. So, I suggest, um, um, Uh, you get um, a, an electronic blood pressure monitor just like this online. Um, it should arrive within two to three days after you order it and pay for it online. And um, you can monitor your no, you can monitor your um, blood pressure yourself. Uh, I'll be doing this for two weeks. I'm going to be recording it sa Excel sheet. Tapos, I will be providing it to a doctor who will be uh, 3.36 p.m. Uh, 1. Tapos, 3. Thirty seven PM one fifty four over ninety five and then we'll do another one. Three forty-five PM. I guess three thirty yung una. Three thirty PM. Then 
we'll do another one, C45, and then, yeah. Huh. So, I, I don't know, no, kasi I only had yun lang, I think. I also record the ano, my food intake. Um, this looks bad. Well, maybe I know. Maybe itong third is better, and then we'll be looking at it. Um, so, para may baseline na tayo. So, two things can happen here. Um, over the two weeks, my BP, I feel fine. And my BP is consistently high. Um, that would mean I might need... Tapos, online lang ah. I'm not a doctor. Um, they say na parang change of lifestyle. Tapos, uh, taking medication. So... I'm I think I'm ready naman to ano to accept na I might need to cut uh cut off yung cheddar cheese ko once maubos yung stock ko. <laughs> Ganun talaga eh. Um yun na yun na yung pinakamaalat sa diet ko. And then I don't eat ano naman yung matatabang meat naman regularly. O minsan minsan I do. Very usually chicken, you know, no, processed processed food na lulutuin na lang because uh, I live on my own. Um, uh, active lifestyle, check naman sa akin yun. And, uh, ayun, so, maybe, so I like fruit naman, fruits naman, not lang talaga vegetables. Uh, I put garlic naman in, ano, in my rice whenever I cook it. So, Ayun, tapos garlic na pababa, kumakain naman ako ng boy bawang. <laughs> so, um, let's see what the doctor will recommend, no? Pero, I see, I hope, so that's one, no? Kung, kung consistent na high and I don't feel anything, I might still need to take some medication. Eh, to ano? You might, kasi diba, parang you're, you're doing fine, you're, you're healthy, where your blood pressure is high, that still, I know, points some, points to something. It's a blood pressure or some veins, diba? You're still at risk for, hopefully, wag naman sana ang ma, ano, something bad uh, na mangyari. Uh, tapos, the second thing that could happen is, mag-normalize naman siya. Gumaba naman siya sa levels na, ano, Pero with you know, with work happening and with you know, I don't think the stress level will will drop anytime soon. So and I'm not a person who parang because uh, I want parang a vacation or free time or relaxed time. I need to be continuously doing something. That's just me. So let's do our third reading. It's Hindi na siya 345. 348 na siya. 348. PM. Let's press. Please remain seated and refrain from talking during measurement and keep cuff at the heart level. Your blood pressure is systolic, 139 millimeter of mercury, diastolic, 96 millimeter of mercury. Your pulse was 70. 
Your blood pressure is abnormal. Abnormal pa rin. So, but it's lower. So, we started with 166 over 104. It dropped to 154 over over 95. And now, it's 139 over 96. A little better. It's still nandun sa, sabi niya nga, ni ate, ate monitor, <laughs> na it's um, abnormal. Because, um, based on my age, well, it's yung, yung diastolic should be no more than 80. Tapos, the systolic should be no more than 110 or 120. So, this is um, hypaden. Um, anyway, um, I'm going to try to do reading again an hour before I sleep uh, to check. And, uh, ayun. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, thank you for watching. Um, please, this is part of taking care of your health. Um, especially sa ating mga nagkaka-edad na. <laughs> Um, we need to monitor our blood pressure regularly and because may mga ano doon, signs, symptoms, and signals to what's going on inside our body. So it doesn't really mean na uh, pag you feel healthy, you're active, you can ano. Pero ano, it's just a good thing to monitor. It's also not ano, hindi rin siya sabihin na pag nagmo-monitor ka, you're you're safe na. Hindi pa din. Ano pa rin? Really depends on on a lot of other factors. So, isa na yun. So, try to minimize the risk of heart attack, stroke, ano, by monitoring your blood pressure, taking medication if, if necessary, making sure you live a healthier lifestyle, iwasan kung hindi or i-minimize kung hindi may iwasan smoking, drinking um, other bad vices stuff that you parang you intake na hindi naman nakaka tulong talaga uh, sa ating insights <laughs> and uh, ayun, eat eat healthier huh, that's hard for me but uh, thanks for watching Okay, news now. It's uh, quite a different episode. Uh, I don't know how to categorize it yet. You will soon, you will soon see when, when I get to upload this later. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next video. It's JD for Bucket News Now. Bye! Hey friends, frenemies, titas, lovers, and pakeela merons. Thanks for watching Pake News Now. We have a lot of other videos for you to enjoy, so if you could kindly subscribe, that will help us out a lot. Please take care and let's all do what we can.